Have you even seen a butterfly who looks like a dry leaf fallen from tree? And have you seen transparent fish? It can hide in the sand you cannot even see it. So guys, in today's this video, I will tell you these kind of invisible animals you have never seen or heard before. There is one special animal in this top 10 list who is totally invisible on the tree wooded. So guys watch this video until the end because you are going to enjoy this video. Friends show some love, like the video and subscribe our channel. Let's start today's this video top 10 invisible animals in the world. Leptocephali have flat bodies filled with jelly-like substances, surrounded by a thin layer of muscle. Their gut is a simple tube, and they lack pelvic fins. In addition, these larvae don't have any red blood cells. However, this changes once they develop into their juvenile stage. The leptocephalus size varies depending on the species, but they generally measure around 2 to 4 inches although their maximum length is approximately 12 inches. There is not much known about eel reproduction. However, scientists have been able to uncover some details. For example, these larvae mate during the last stage of their lives. This is because they start foraging and eating in groups, encouraging their reproductive organs to form. In addition, eels tend to migrate to a specific breeding site. What better poster child is there for insects that look like leaves? The giant Malaysian leaf insect is one of the most iconic mimics of all time. Its body appears to be a curling, browning leaf while its legs appear to be broken leaf segments. As it says in their name, these insects are common all throughout the tropics of Malaysia, preferring to live in warm humid areas. Birds enjoy snacking on the giant Malaysian leaf insect. When these insects sense one nearby, they become incredibly still in an attempt to blend in with their surroundings. Often, this strategy proves successful due to their remarkable likeness to leaf litter. When people think of insects that look like leaves, chances are they're picturing a katydid. Also known as longhorn grasshop, the texture helps leaf-tailed geckos to be camouflaged within their surroundings to conceal themselves against the natural foliage in their surroundings. They tend to blend in with the bark of trees and with leaves, which is made even easier with their coloring. However, there are several species of this type of gecko, including the mossy, satanic, and giant leaf-tailed gecko. This gecko has a unique vocal trick, it can emit a loud noise that sounds just like the scream of a child. They have large eyes without eyelids. To keep their eyeballs moist, they lick them periodically. If dirt gets on or in the eye of the gecko, the reptile removes it in the same way that they moisten the surface with their tongue. The size of this lizard can vary drastically growing 4 to 12 inches at its adult length. The seahorse is the slowest fish in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The dwarf seahorse is the slowest moving fish in the world. Its reported top speed is just 60 inches per hour. They're a fish, the seahorse has a shape that's instantly identifiable and looks very little like other fish species. However, the seahorse is a type of fish that's closely related to pipefish and sea dragons. Seahorses don't have stomachs. Seahorses are fish that have digestive tracts that lack a stomach. That means they have to eat nearly continuously to stay alive. Male seahorses give birth, it's true. Male seahorses get pregnant and give birth to more than a thousand offspring at once. Female seahorses lay their egg in a male's pouch which is fertilized. After about three weeks of the seahorse embryos developing, they're ejected from the male's pouch at an extremely rapid rate. You'll want to see the video on what this looks like below. Seahorses are romantics and will dance for days before choosing their mates. 
One of the most amazing facts about owls is that they have the ability to rotate their heads up to 270 degrees. Normally this would cut off circulation to the brain and eyes, but their heads will pull up blood to prevent this from happening. Their amazing ability has evolved to compensate for their static and immobile eyes. These birds are not the fastest flyers in the world, but it's estimated that some species can reach flight speeds of around 40 miles per hour in short bursts. They fly on a straight path by flapping their wings steadily. One of nature's most ingenious disguise artists, decorator crabs belong to the superfamily Majoidia. Sometimes also known as spider crabs, approximately 75% of the species in the family decorate their shells and legs with plants and animals to help them avoid and ward off predators. They live all over the world and thrive as opportunistic scavengers and predators despite their slowly moving frames. When decorator crabs molt, they recycle their old decorations and reuse them once they finish growing their new shell. Many animals use them as camouflage also benefit from the relationship as they feed on leftover food that the crabs leave behind. They often cover themselves with stinging animals like anemones and sea urchins to protect themselves from predators. When introduced into new environments, decorator crabs will redecorate themselves to better blend in with their surroundings. Walking barefoot in the ocean is something that most people dream of, but what if there was danger lurking just beneath the surface? The scorpion fish and the lionfish are two of the most deadly fish on the planet, capable of injecting venom into their prey in an instant. While both of these creatures are incredibly similar, there are some distinct differences that separate them. Today, we are going to take a look at these differences in order to learn what makes them distinct species. Let's discover scorpionfish versus lionfish. Are they the same fish? The difference between a scorpionfish and a lionfish is that both belong to the scorpionidae, but true scorpionfish are part of the scorpina genus and lionfish are part of the terwa genus. Most types of moths are nocturnal, active at night. During the day, they hide under the leaves of trees or find a way to get into a dark attic or basement of a home. Fully grown moths survive on a liquid diet of tree sap, flower nectar, and even juice from a piece of rotting fruit. These insects only live an average of 40 days. Some moths measure less than an inch while other species have a wingspan of 11 inches. These insects move pollen from flower to flower just like butterflies. Males have an excellent sense of smell. A luna moth doesn't have a mouth and can't eat, so it only lives about a week. Lying almost motionless along the sandy ocean or seafloor, the flounder fish waits patiently for a tasty meal to come by so it can feed. Its entire lifestyle and physical appearance are oriented around the bottom-dwelling habitat. This is an incredible display of evolutionary ingenuity. But due to its popularity as a cuisine, some species of flounder are in danger of population depletion. Some species of flounders are nicknamed the chameleons of the sea due to their ability to change colors as a means of blending in with the environment. The flounder fish resembles a typical fish upon birth. The better an insect can camouflage itself, the higher their chances are for survival. Because of this, adaption and evolution have created some of the most interesting looking insects in the world. While some have evolved to look like sticks and leaves, others have evolved to look like plants and petals. Even for experts, it may be difficult to spot one out in the wild. Today, we'll discuss 10 of the most intriguing insects that have evolved to look like leaves. You may be wondering how exactly insects have evolved to look identical to vegetation. The answer is simple, the more believable their camouflage is, the less of a chance there is that they will be predated. Moths, butterflies, and other small insects are usually helpless against larger predators like birds, bats, and small rodents. 
because they won't be able to fight back. The best chance they have to survive will be to go and see. Other insects have created different solutions to this problem, such as the toxic monarch butterfly.